Hello from my balcony. We are going to plant Mizuna microgreens today. Just a quick intro to microgreens before we get started on the tutorial. Microgreens are nothing mysterious. They are simply edible greens and vegetables that are densely planted and harvested early. The big reasons to love microgreens, the leaves are more nutritious than um, more mature leaves and the harvest is super quick. So if you plant these seeds today, you may be able to harvest them as early as one week, but plan on one to three weeks. Okay, let's get started on the tutorial. I will show you how to plant, harvest, and clean Mizuna microgreens, as well as my method for thinning out and growing some of the seedlings to full size so that I can make the most of my seed packets. I wanted to show you the way that works best for me. Um, I, I love things to be accessible and quick, and so this is great because you can just grow these microgreens in an old egg container and they should be ready for you within a week or two, depending on the conditions on your balcony, kitchen window, or in your greenhouse. This is the method that I use um, most regularly because it's just quite simple and easy and it works well for me. So feel free to make adjustments for your own home and garden to see what works for you. Microgreens are super expensive to purchase at the store and plus this is such a great activity right now when we're all looking for a little bit of mindfulness during our day. It's also a wonderful activity for kids. Okay, let's get started with a tutorial on how to plant Mizuna microgreens. Today I'm using Mizuna. It's an heirloom mustard, has a similar taste to arugula. It's my personal favorite to grow both as a microgreen and as a full-size plant. You could also use arugula, radishes, or peas. Take a look in your spice cabinet, see if you have some seeds in there. Um, I have also grown just regular mustard seeds before that you buy in the spice section. So see what you have around, experiment. These are all my personal favorites in terms of the germination time. For all of these, if you put them in a warm place, they should germinate within a week and you should have a harvest within a week and a half. Step one, put holes in the bottom of the container. I use egg containers. They are always in my house and so it's very easy, but any shallow container will work. Having holes in the bottom allows the water to drain through because you don't want your seeds to be soggy. If they do dry out all the way, just go ahead and water them. It's better to have them a little on the dry side than too soggy. Next, let's add the potting soil. So you can use any good quality potting soil or a seed starting mix. The, the key is that it's light and fluffy so the seeds can easily germinate. After you add the soil, go ahead and plant the seeds. They can be as dense as needed. Just go ahead and toss them in there. This is the part that can be really fun for kids. I mean, don't overthink it. Just toss the seeds in. <laughs> So after you toss the seeds in there, go ahead and cover it with a thin layer of soil. Okay, just a thin layer because all the seeds we're talking about here are pretty small. They just want to be dark for the germination process. That'll take about three days. Okay. After covering the seeds with soil, we will water them gently.
close the lid of the egg container or put something dark on top of your container and put them in a dark place for three days. It can be in a basement, um, a little kitchen cupboard or something like that, or you can leave them out as long as they're covered in something dark. Check the water levels each day. As I said before, you don't want them to dry out completely. It's better that they're consistently moist, but you definitely don't want the plants to be soggy. So check their water every day, and once you see some little green sprouts coming out, go ahead and open the top of the container and put them out in the light, away from bright sun, but near light so they continue to grow. After about a week, a week and a half, you should see your egg container covered in green sprouts, and at this point, you can harvest them. When I'm harvesting, I try to cut as close to the first set of leaves as I can and away from the soil. And as I'm harvesting, I take the little bits of soil away. To clean the microgreens, I soak them in a bowl of water for a few minutes and then I rinse them three times using a strainer. At that point, I lay them out on a paper towel or on a plate and let them air dry for a few minutes. You could also use a salad spinner to get them nice and dry. The microgreens will last a few days in the fridge. You could keep them in a glass jar or in a Ziploc bag. And they're wonderful on top of pizza, on top of eggs, or just topped on top of your salad. After you're done harvesting the microgreens, you may have a few seedlings left. Now, typically, if you're just growing plants for full size in your garden, you will go through a process called thinning. You will pick out the strongest seedlings and nurture those to grow, and the rest of the seedlings get tossed. So in my mind, growing microgreens is a way of doing away with that waste of tossing those sweet little seedlings. So what I do, I grow most of my greens as microgreens, and then you see these little sprouts left. I take those and I transplant them so they have enough space around them into a slightly bigger container and then I nurture them into full-size plants. As they continue to grow, I give them larger containers. Now these sweet little Mizuna sprouts you see have grown to full-size. It's just an example of what you can do with some of the leftover sprouts in your little tray of microgreens. Let's do a little recap of the Mizuna microgreens. All you need egg container, soil, some seeds like mizuna or arugula or radish. Put holes in the bottom of your container. Add soil, add the seeds as freely as you want. Cover them in soil, water them, leave them in a dark place. After three days, you should start to see germination. Bring them out into the light and after a week, periodically checking for water and watering as needed, you should have microgreens ready to harvest. This is a great way to grow your own greens at home quickly, particularly when we're in a time where it's difficult to get to the store. So I hope I've inspired you to grow microgreens. Please leave any questions in the comments and subscribe if you'd like more flower arranging and simple garden tutorials.